<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Not really sure how this video is going to come out. Uh, at any rate, I've watched quite a few videos uh, recently talking about the sheepdog, right? This uh, sheepdog stuff has been out for a while and I've seen it abused for a good period of time now. I remember reading what Rex Grossman was trying to convey. Uh, when he invented that term sheepdog and he talked about wolves and all this other stuff. But you see people love labels and I've seen this term sheepdog being used as a label, as a definition of, uh, of individuals. I'm a sheepdog, chest all poked out. Well. I'm here to tell you that most of us are not sheepdogs, okay? Now, I'm not going to get into what Russ Grossman was trying to define. And I'm not going to get into how I have seen the term abused, especially here on YouTube in recent years. I'm going to get into a little bit of a different thing about individuals and what you can learn about yourself in your own life experiences. I've mentioned before that uh, there for a while, I, like 12 years or so, 13 years, whatever it was, I was a bouncer in bars, clubs around here. And I learned a few things about myself in that. Uh, I've learned a few things about myself in my life and the situations that I put myself into. Okay. And uh, looking back on that, uh, it's stupid. Stupid what I've done. At any rate. I remember sitting in a bar that I used to bounce in. I wasn't bouncing in at that particular time, um, but it was a bar that I often went to. I was having a beer after work. It was hot weather. I just wanted to get a beer after work. While well, I was sitting there, there was a group of folks over playing pool, and pool tables is always a, always an area where, where a fight can break out at any moment. And one did. And this one guy was just, he, he was just beating the crap out of this other fellow. And uh, I went over there and broke it up. And the guy that was doing the beating, he lurched away from me. He said, you don't know who you're messing with. And I went, well, you're right. But you're, you're on your way out of here. And he was with a couple other guys, and they, they came up off their bar, bar stools. And I figured that I was going to have a pretty good fight to deal with. But then this individual pulls out a firearm and levels it right in my chest. See, he was a police officer. He was a detective for one of the local police departments in this area. And I, didn't, I did not know that at the time. But he started screaming how he, you know, how bad of an ass he was and he was going to shoot me. He began to raise that firearm up towards my head, and I saw him click the safety off of that Smith & Wesson uh, 9mm. And the next thing that I know, I had his gun, and I was beating the hell out of him with it until his two buddies broke us up and drug him out of there. That's when I found out that he was a Norfolk police officer. They asked me to return his firearm since it was a uh, department issue. I refused and only relinquished it to his lieutenant a few days later. I'll tell you another story. Me and my best friend were sitting in a Denny's one night. And when I say night, it was actually morning. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. He used to bounce at a different place, and I bounced at another place. And we kind of hooked up afterwards to get something to eat. So we're talking 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, being a weeknight, there was a, I mean a weekend night, there was a lot of folks in there eating, even at that early hour. And we had kind of chuckled. Uh, and noticed that this couple that was kind of sitting over from us, uh, the booths were kind of in an L. They were just screaming at each other, and we kind of chuckled at them a little bit. Well, while we were enjoying our food, as much as you can enjoy 
Denny's food at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. The guy had reached over, grabbed the girl by the hair, and started pounding her face into the table. Next thing you know, I found myself over there, and I had him by the head, and I was pounding his face into the table. I drug him out of there, and uh, called the police, had him arrested. And as it turns out, I had, uh, I had beat him pretty severely. Here's what I'm trying to say to you folks. I've never trained and I never looked at that and said, hey, look, someone is beating a woman. Let me go intervene. It happened. And I did. When I was in that bar, and that guy was beating the, just, just unmercifully beating this other guy. I didn't say to myself, oh my, there's someone beating someone else. Let me go intervene. I just did. I think my training in martial arts, maybe, uh, that all the different train, <clears throat> training in self-defense may have helped me in these two little incidents. And I have others that are much more severe. But who you are is who you are. And when you learn who you are, then you have to learn with your training how to best apply that. I don't know if I'm going to run towards any gunfire. I would hope, like Yankee Marshall said, that I would have the, the sense about me to make sure I get my family to safety. This bragging and chest beating stuff about being sheepdogs or whatever, it just needs to stop. If you need a label to feel good about yourself, then when you look into that mirror, it's not a sheepdog you're looking at. It's a sheep. Understand that. Train to better yourself. Know yourself. All right. I know a lot of people are going to see this video very negatively. It was not my purpose, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate it. And remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.